I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 28. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here's a counter play. He's tackled at the 38. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And down he goes at the 39. Now, I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching the football, but man, oh man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of a job. after a decent pickup. It's second and five here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled right away. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Ready, Caught, and up for the first down. Right down, around the 24-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. 29 Caught with room to work. And he's tackled at the 15. Him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this play is number eight on the drive. Takes it and he's tackled short. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. And the defensive line won that battle easily. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kansas State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Ready. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Three, four, and three. Kill. He's going to try and scramble. Incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. And they make. 
make the stop around the 44-yard line. And a quick throw. Throws out and through his hands. Bowling was the intended target on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Youngblood is back awaiting the punt. He fields it at the 17. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Kansas State is up a field goal. Ready, hold, black 90. Black. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. It's an out to his receiver and he can't hang on. That'll make it fourth and two. Bowling is back deep to return the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he can't hang on to the ball. He just couldn't pull that one in, please. And that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He tackles him for a loss. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Go Pressure coming. Big opening. And he's taken down at about the 35. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. They tried to get a head start there. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way Still to stall out a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And go. Three. Little screen pass. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Easy, easy. Where? Where? There he goes. Fires it out. Five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Wildcats with a three-point lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Here they come. And he's going to come up with a sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's really interesting to see how he responds from this hit, whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Youngblood is the deep man awaiting the return. Yeah. 
Youngblood fields it at the 34. Brought down at the 40. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Kansas State is up by three. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. The Red Wolves defensive back left the game with that injury earlier. Looks like he's going to be able to get back in the secondary. Wears it out to the right, and that's to the fullback. He's taken down at the 43. Scrambling. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. From the 46 yard line, first down. Two times, two times. Watch two, watch two. Pushed out of bounds. First and ten, ball on the twenty three. made right around the 18-yard line. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 29 is the mic. Kansas State has a three-point lead. Nice run there. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Gets to about the 11 yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And this is the eighth play of the drive. <laughs> Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Irvin gains around six yards on the run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. point. So a nine play, 60 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Lynch has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. It's the tailback. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Murray picks up two yards with a carry. Two minutes left in the half. Arkansas State will take their first time out of the half. Quick out to his receiver. And he's hit immediately. Hughes makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. He 
fights forward to about the 36. Gets rid of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. He scrambled. Ball is loose. Fumble. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. Man down, and he's in some pain right now. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Makes the grab past the marker, and down he goes at the 35-yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Arkansas State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's the ninth play of the drive. The Red Wolves had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Brought down at the 43-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled at the 36. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. Kansas State's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks. You know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back in that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's on the run. They bring him down.
screen, gets it to his tailback. And he shoved out of bounds at the 37. with a carry. He takes it right side for a good game. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it second and two. And they got it. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They'll line it up again on third down. Caught out of the open. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. Brought down with only one man to beat. Gaining 40 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Here's an opening. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That's a team 14 yards in the way. That makes it first and goal. Mike 55, Mike 50, here we go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and goal. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seventh. Now he's flushed and they got it. It's up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Kansas State is up four. Fires that quickly to the tailback. The quarterback really kept his poise under pressure and delivered a pretty nice little ball right there. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. From their own 30-yard line, Second down. Quick pass. And they make the stop at the 45 yard line. Thompson fakes a handoff. He's going to air it long. Oh, what an interception. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. First and 10. Ball on their own 21. Ah! 
He throws right. And he hauls that one in. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Number 15 makes the touch at the 30 yard line. First down. And he might want it all here and does. Almost intercepted. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Go four. Through 20. Under pressure, heading for the corner. And he's going to be sacked. down and they need to get it down to the 20. Deep pass to the end zone. Doesn't get there. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down. Getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. Kicks away. It's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. So the score now, Kansas State 10, Arkansas State 9. The Arkansas, Arkansas, State, Arkansas State, ready State ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Red Wolves have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Looking for the corner, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and nine. nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 26. Kansas State is up one. Fires it out. Tackle at the 34. get the call again. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 8-yard line. We might see another run here as it's first and goal. He's taken down and denied. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. So at the end of three, the Wildcats lead 10-9. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Tackle made at the three. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. At the two-yard line. Call it a game of one yard. That brings us fourth and goal. Kansas State up a point. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Lynch is lined up to kick this one off, and he got all of this one. Great kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's got it with room to run. Good tackle there in space. Oh, the catch. Catch. Jones, Jones on the tackle at the 31 yard line. They're about four They're yards four away, away here on third down. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. Youngblood is the deep man awaiting the return. Youngblood fields it at the 30. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's scrambling, and they get the sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. From their own 39-yard line, second down, Kansas State holds a four-point lead. to about the 41-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Ball on the 47-yard line. Nice run there. Irvin gets seven yards on the play. The Red Wolves are going to call their second timeout. He's going to try and scramble. Down at the 28 yard line. Now, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 24 yard line. Just over a minute left. Drill at the 22 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive.
17 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. A great game here today in a tight one. 13-9, Wildcats. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.